stay sane with Jane, the show that helps you and your business to thrive, not just survive. Tune in each week as Jane connects with guests in the wellness, business and publishing worlds, bringing you the most up-to-date training, techniques, healing and guidance for growth, mindset and motivation. Each session includes a magical guided meditation led by Jane or one of her special guests. Here's your host, Jane Scanlon. Hello and welcome to this episode of Stay Sane with Jane. And today we are going to be talking to the wonderful Margaret Hunt. And we're talking to her all about um, house whispering. And she's got some amazing tools that we can order and use. Um, And she's also got some great tips that we can just implement straight away to make our environments um, feel and be better. So Margaret, tell us a little bit about yourself. Right. Hello, Jane. Thank you for inviting me to um, join you today. Um, I help people to live well within themselves by enhancing, enriching and empowering people. Um, I use do this by using kinesiology, house whispering, um, digital mapping and spiritual mentoring. And I work with the whole person to help them feel well holistically in their body, in their home and by working on their energy system. Fantastic. You've got some amazing uh, tools in your toolkit, haven't you? I do, yes. Um, <laughs> and you've, tell us about, a little bit about, um, about how you got started in this field, because it's quite niche, isn't it? House yeah, yeah. whispering and, I mean... Um, my audience is very much into the holistic approach to life and within the wellness business and everything. So, yeah, yeah tell us a little bit more about how you started in your field. Um, I started by being a kinesiologist, which I still currently do. It's the basis of my practice. Um, mm. It was a friend of mine. She was already having kinesiology and, she, and I was talking to her and she said that she felt like kinesiology would be really helpful. So I went off and had my first session. I, when I come off the couch, I went, I like this. I want to learn how to do it. And that was back in 2007. So yes. I started doing the training and um, loved it. I loved everything about it. I liked how it was working with the body. It was working in the way that the body wanted it to be done in their priority order as opposed to being told this is what you need you were actually asking the body Mm. what you need to feel well to address whatever issue that they had so um i ended up in 2011 being diagnosed with breast cancer so i knew from being a kinesiologist reading louise hay books and a number of others that I may have possibly have contributed to me getting there. I'm not saying that that was the main reason, but there are some ethos out Mm -hmm. there that some people believe that sometimes when you end up with an illness, that it could be your um, mental thoughts that you're having, or it could be your lifestyle or a number of different factors. So um, I started to do some research and... So although I was working on my energy system, being a kinesiologist on my clients, I was also having work done on myself. I started to do some research and I found something called um, geopathic stress, which is to do with the energy in the earth grids and loads of different areas within your life. And also I started to hear a bit more about feng shui, about placements of stuff within the house, how it might not work really well for you. And um, I started to kind of have a little look into that to kind of sort of see what it is that was going on. What was I doing in my home? What could I bring in to bring 
in the harmony as well as working on my body I realized I had to do it in my home so I started to do things and start to kind of feel or notice a shift within the pattern so then um, I did a few courses on how to heal your home and liked it then I thought I'll do house whispering and I suppose I said the rest is history, but you kind of, it, it, with House Whispering, it works with your home working with you. Yeah. So your home wants to support you all the time. Your home wants you to be happy and it wants you to live well while you're living in the home. Um, estate yes. agents tell you, like, for example, if uh, a couple's married and they start to fall out of love with each other and there's lots of arguments and what have you that energy is left within the home in the walls mm. and if it's not cleansed or removed by someone like myself who has the skills to move these energies on to cause no harm to anybody it stays in the wall mm. now estate agents know that they start to cause certain properties divorce properties because the same house after a couple of years really? back on the market. yeah they know it because they because i'm see, i've spoken to quite a few oh of them and, yeah yeah and some of them will say like they know as soon as they walk into a house like they're not spiritual they're not holistic workers they're estate agents you yeah know, they're just their houses but they know when they walk into a house or oh, 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 something's going on here but they can't describe it they can't tell you what so when I was telling them what I do they were fascinated by mm -hmm. what I do but they also knew that they wouldn't be able to sell it properly to a lot of the everyday people who are looking for homes because it would look like it's a little bit too far out there but yeah state agents yeah. also oh here we go that house is back on the market clearly they're having a, getting a divorce. I mean, it's like if you go to a hotel, you wouldn't want to sleep on the previous person's bed sheets. You would expect that to be cleaned before yeah. you yes. get into the bed. And it's the same with the home. You yeah. know, when you buy a home, it needs to be cleansed. It needs to be, the energies of previous people need to be removed in order for you to live your best life as you possibly can within that home. Yes, and I know when I was looking around houses and flats that there were some I'd go into and you'd really like it. It might not be appropriate for you, but it had a good feel. And then others, mm. you'd walk in and you wouldn't even be in the property and you'd be thinking, oh, no, oh, oh, no. I don't like this. This isn't, this doesn't feel right. Yes. Um, and then, you know, now I am living in the area, certain of the kind of blocks of flats and things that I had looked in, I now know that's like that little pocket is like, yeah. that's not a good, that's not a yes. good area. You're not going to have good neighbours, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Yeah. Well, it yeah. has a knock-on effect, you see, because what happened is that the energy that isn't conducive to you, that isn't supporting and helping you, is just hanging around. Mm. And it needs to be removed so that you can live your best life. And a lot of people don't realise that when they're selling their home, that they really should have that house whispered, as well yes. as their new property. When they go but, into the new, yes. But, you know, they don't realise that, that they need to, I mean, some people call it spiritual cleansing, some people call it, you know, whatever. I just call it cleansing because it's just getting rid of all of that to allow people to move on i also do it for people house whispering also comes into play when somebody wants to sell their home and they're mm -hmm. struggling as to why it can't sell i had one lady who had a, i think her house was on the market for maybe three or four years i can't remember exactly wow in this and country she, uk and she didn't have one view in so while she asked for my help, while um, we were doing the work that we needed to do on her home, her phone rang, but she didn't answer the phone because we were having the process of cleansing her home and, and I was telling her what I'd picked up and what mm -hmm. needed to be done. Anyway, when we'd finished, she must have messaged me 
maybe an hour or so later, she said, you'll never believe it. She said, that was the estate agent that called. They got a view and someone wants to come and see the property. And that same person that come to view it. Yes. Bought it. Oh, wow. I know. I know. So she, so she Energy, was, energy. <laughs> right? Energy. Because I had done some work already, but we needed to do some work together that her home wanted her to do, that her home wanted her to know. And while we was on the phone, I mean, that, that's mind boggling, isn't it? It is really it? is. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. And I something happened to me uh, this year, actually. I rent my property when I go on holiday. Right. And I'd opened it up, but there was nothing. Nothing. Nobody right. was booking in. I was like, this is so strange. I have never had this. I've been doing this for years now. When I go on holiday, someone comes on holiday here. And then I was like, right, what, what do I need to do in the house? And it, it was kind of some energetics, but a lot of it was just basic maintenance. Like the house yeah. was like, no, I'm not ready for guests yet. <laughs> I need all this stuff done to me. I need my taps. I need new taps in the bathroom and yeah. this and that. Yeah. And then when I got all of that done or like lined up with the various people, um, the booking started coming in. I was like, ah. Oh okay yes thank you yes yes because you remember i did was it your mum's you've done yeah you've done my mum's and you've done this house as well yes yeah yes. and my mum's was an interesting one wasn't it very interesting so when i never wanted to move into that house i was 10 years old when we did move i'm now 45 so they've still got the house that's still in it um but it was one of those doer uppers, a big like Victorian townhouse in South London. And um, yeah, I just never felt at home there. Yeah. Only until recently. Yeah. And even now, I wouldn't like have any attachments if they sold it tomorrow. Yeah. Type of thing. <laughs> Yes. So over to you. Explain what what you what kind of came up in that, just so listeners can um I'm can to kind of that. understand. Well, it, if I remember correctly, is that where that they had um the um it was it was down in the basement. basement. It was basement. Family, it was yeah, and it was the. It was a, the family was working really hard and they weren't treated very well. And there's a lot of resentment that was being held down in the basement. Because I'm yeah. sure you said that rats came out after I did the cleansing, didn't you? You said that. No, that was. That was, was that somewhere area. else. But, no, um, yeah, that was. So, yeah, it was in the basement and it was like the workers, the workers that. That's right. Built the house that worked in the house, and they didn't know that they That's were right. putting in, but they were treated so badly. unfairly, so badly that yes. it was their own, like casting negative spells without yeah. This is what meaning to exactly. Un unconscious. That's it. Right. Unconscious. Unconscious. Because people don't realise that thought becomes things. So while they're working on the house, being pushed to get everything done they weren't being paid very well they were mm. feeling really unhappy they're working long hours they had young children there doing things they're bringing the stuff to the workmen to build it and all of those feelings was going in to each brick each yes. cement being used and it just left that that place feeling very unloved unliked old. yeah mm. old tired tired it went way back it was really really old yeah yeah it's slowly coming back to me because that was some time ago now it was i have to look at the paperwork but i do remember yeah it was it, it was, was a lot and there was a thing with the so yeah it was at the the basement, basement. And, and there was a little bit at the top and it was like this funnel through mm. the house just sort of sapping the life out of everything that's right that's right yes. yeah yeah so relationships didn't flourish in that house um it, it was very cold 
was not hard, homely. It was hard work. It was hard work. It was hard work. It was hard it. work. It was hard work. Hard nothing work. was flowing. Nothing was moving. Nothing mm. was allowing anybody to to grow to um, within themselves and as as a family. You know, it was it was a real struggle. It was a struggle. It was like walking through treacle, getting there eventually, but it was hard work. Yeah, that was it. Now I wonder when that was. That must have been after I had my daughter. Yes. It would have been because I remember, yes, where I met you. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, it would have been after I've had my daughter. And then, actually, I think things, various things. I know things shifted, but I'm trying to think of my life because I don't think I stayed there too much longer. No, no, you didn't. Time. No, you didn't because you then went and I think I had... Me and my sister had this house sale in South London That's of our right. property. Then right. everything, everything started to shift. Yeah. A knock on yeah. effect. Because once knock you break effect. something and you heal it and you get rid of those negative energies in a safe and the appropriate way, it has mm. a knock on effect, like quantum physically, like it has it not it just has a knock on effect all around. Because then you found we're looking for your place. And I remember you, I can't remember if you called me or messaged me saying, oh, oh, God, oh God. this house, tell me if this is my house, if this is the right one. And, uh, and I was so nervous to sort of say, I believe it is. Yes. <laughs> and it was. It was. <laughs> but it's about putting yourself out there when you're being asked this sort of question. You know, you have to sort of like really trust that what you're being told and given is right because you don't want to be held a, held if it doesn't work through do you know what I mean but I I was getting a strong yes but I was still hesitant to say yes 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 take it take it and I sure and I, if it's coming back to me now that I said it will fall into place and it did everything yes. in place yeah and it worked out beautifully I mean look look how you yeah and moved on and transformed in in areas that you never even began to think about yes yeah definitely so this these i love the way you described it uh, at the beginning was um your house wants to hold you it wants yes. you to flourish i yes. love that yeah it's like it is a container that you are in isn't it? Well, well, it's like when you can always, t people don't realise about energy, how it actually um, is a lot more stronger than people realise. You can always tell when something is not right. You can always tell if a couple have had an argument, you feel it because of energy. You can mm. always tell when you've walked into a room of 50 or 60 people and you've walked in on your own looking for your friends or whatever. You can always tell if someone's looking at you, that's energy. So your energy system is picking up that mm. someone is looking at you. You might not know who the person is, but you get that feeling. So when when you move into your home, your home wants to support you. Your home wants you to, to be happy and it will hold everything, good and bad, in mm. there. So um, it's like when I had my home checked, they, my home wanted me to work from home. And I had a full time job. I was yes. locked into the salary. And I was just like, how am I going to make this happen? How am I going to make this happen? Yeah. And, and since I started working from home, it's the best thing ever. It's the best thing. So my home knew what I needed, but yes. I didn't know at that time what I wanted. But, um, and how you could even do it how? as well. Yeah. How, how? Wow. Mm. you know when you get you get you know you're you're so locked into doing the day job that sometimes you forget about what it is you actually your heart wants but your home wants to support you your home wants to give you what you want what you need but it's a two-way thing yeah. you have to, you know you have to give the home what it needs and then you know your home will then support you lovingly energetically in what it is that you need mm. cuz houses talk to each other they talk, they talk like to trees. each other. Oh, I didn't like like trees. <laughs> like trees. Yeah, they have conversations and they like, oh yeah, oh yeah. All the energy, 
energy i didn't even think of that that's amazing. no everything is energy everything is energy oh that's lovely so i live in a little um i live in a terrace but it's only got five houses yeah five little cottages um and the first two are now empty right because the first one what well, did have someone in it but she's since passed and the family haven't sorted things out yet now the the next one was a complete jungle and right. everybody in our little lane were like oh what are we going to do about this we don't know where the guy's gone um etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's just been left to to rack and ruin anyway somebody because of our kind of continual talking and I suppose the houses are like going, look, please help me, <laughs> help me. <laughs> Take me, love me. Please. So finally we've managed to, someone's got a hold of the person who owns it, who is really old now, isn't coming back, but a family member has now sorted out and taken all the ivy off the back of the house employed Good. someone showing it some love it, just a little bit of love yes. it needs a ton more but at least it's now not encroaching on our properties now as well all the ivy and everything so it's like okay it's still falling apart but all the ivy has been ripped back uh and so the properties and the roofs and the the fences are okay now um but just from what you're just saying mm. it just shows you the power of love that's in an energy and you yeah. when you, you when you love something and show it love it's so healing and it's yes. free it's free you don't have to pay for that you know there's an old saying just be kind just be kind it has it does it heals so much mm. you know when you love somebody when when your child is naughty and and driving you and working on your last nerve and you're going my goodness it's a good thing i love you boy <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> It's a good thing you know, because love is is so powerful, mm. you know. And if we as humans want to be loved, so does your home, so does your office, wherever you work, so does your car, so does your garden, so does your driveway. You know, mm. we all survive by being loved. Yes, we do. And I know you have a lot of love and a lot of kindness. So, and, and we've known each other for, for years now. Yes. And we've worked with each other both, you know, both ways, ways round. Yes. Um, so what what does it look like to work with you now? If we've got people listening, watching, what... What are they going to come to you for? When people come to me, um, they come to me for various different reasons. I'll give you an example. When I first started to do kinesiology, a lady came to me because she'd hurt her back. Now, my mm. treatment room is upstairs in my home. She could barely walk up the stairs. So when she was on the couch, we had to do some emotional work. We had to do some think around some words. And there was a particular word that she had to think around while I was holding some acupressure points on her body. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden she went, I know what happened to my back. She was at the kitchen sink, washing the dishes. Her and her husband were arguing. She turned around so quickly to argue back with him, she pulled her back out. Yeah. So even though she came to me for the back eight, it was the emotional side mm. that we were dealing with that helped. She walked down the stairs as if nothing had happened. <sighs> That's it's amazing. Just amazing. So if we worked together, we would be working with the whole person. We mm -hmm. would... Um, I would always ask, because the kinesiology that I do... 
I use muscle testing. So we are asking the body what it wants sub in the subconscious. I'm not asking the conscious mind. I'm asking yeah. subconsciously, what do you need? What do you need to bring you back into balance, to help mm -hmm. you to feel well, to help you to feel strong, to help you to feel hopeful, to trust the future? What do you need? What can I do with all that I know? How can I help you? And yes. then I just ask simple questions. Are we working here? Are we working here? Do you need this? Do you need that? I've got loads of different things. I've got crystals. I've got aromatherapy oils. I've got um, flower images. I've got lists of affirmations. I've got books. I've got, um, it could be supplements. It could be colour. It could mm. be a manner of different things but it brings the body back into balance because it's whatever it needs on what en whatever part of the energy system we're working. So if you come to me, you would come in, I'd have you lying on the couch and I would explain to you what I'm doing all the way through. This is what I'm doing. I would show you the muscle response from your arm and that you could see that it's not me pushing your arm down, it's your arm <laughs> releasing, which yeah. tells if it's a yes or a no and then and I just explain as we go along saying right your body wants you to think this please don't second guess it just think the word and whatever comes up allow that to come because while I'm holding the points it's readdressing and it's rebalancing you because sometimes the chi from one part of your body to another might be blocked so the so chi, I kind of sort of see it like a vein and the chi might be constricted so that the energy can't flow through it freely. So the work that I do will, will loosen that to allow the chi to flow, the energy to flow so that everything is flowing easier. Mm. Sometimes it's too much, too wide. So then the work I do will tighten it up so it can flow in a more stream like easier narrow way but it's about the energy it's about the flow so yeah the work that i do just works i don't know i'm always i've been doing it for many years and i'm still it boggles mind boggles me when i think gosh that's amazing that's fantastic and when they say to me because sometimes when things come up with the affirmations that have one of the ladies who is a who's a health kinesiologist wrote a book and behind yeah. um every aromatherapy oil there's an energy meaning behind it yes and my first i had a client a few weeks ago and he i had to say to him i said look this is what this book means this 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 book is going to tell you what this oil means to you you don't have to accept it but I need to read to you what it said. Well, Jane, it was saying, it wasn't very nice, really. And it's yeah. not an all I've used for a long time, so I totally forgot. And then you start explaining it. You're like, oh, oh, I was, oh, no. I was, thinking, I was thinking, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, this is the first time he's come to me. I'm saying all of this stuff. Oh, Jesus, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness. Anyway, I said to him, you don't have to accept it. I said, just trust the process. It's the energy system. Yeah. And when that's described me to a T. Oh, amazing. Um, yeah. And I'm just thinking, look at you, Margaret. You've, you've been doing this years and you're still doubting it. Just trust it. And he was, you know, he said, no, that's, no, that's, no, I accept all of that. That is, that is me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And I was wow. just, I was just oh, thank, I shouldn't second guess it. But when it's not something very positive, it's really hard to deliver that message, yeah. you know. But sometimes they need to hear it in order for them to acknowledge it, for them to then release it and let it go. Mm -hmm. So everything I do is done in the priority order. It's done for the person's highest interest, for mm -hmm. their good. Regardless, I do not get in the way. I just do it. And yes. allow that process to, yeah, go through. So also with the kinesiology that I do, with everything else that I do in, in, in my um, toolkit, is I ask the body how many sessions it needs, how many weeks between each session. So it's not every week they come to me. The body might want to see um, me again in six weeks or seven weeks. 
So between each appointment, I work out, I ask the body how many weeks, then between appointments two and three, how many weeks, between appointments three and four, and so on. So then that gives a client an indication that this is going to take six, seven, eight months, but I only need four appointments or three appointments. Wow, I yeah, love so, that. Yeah, and the reason it does that is because when they come to me to have work yeah. done, it um, the work might need that amount of time to process. Yes. To heal to become normal and and yeah so it's through that that then sometimes the body is saying actually it's not the body it's the house because sometimes when I'm working on the body and they come back I have to redo the work again and I said why is this come undone because there's something going on in the house so that all the work was done here when they've gone home it's, it's come undone. undone so then some something's gone in their home that needs to house whispering work doing which is why i work holistically on the body and in the home in order for the two to work together so it sticks for them to enhance enrich and feel empowered mm, that is so yeah. interesting margaret oh my gosh and if so you always start off with the person and the body first no, not necessarily. But if if somebody comes to me for kinesiology, yes. they come to me to work on their body. Yes. So through that process, that's one way. Through the process, people, the house might come up. Yes. And the house whispering might come up. Other people will have heard that I do house whispering and will contact me regarding the house whispering. Yes. So I would then look at the whole house. I will ask if I have permission to um, ask questions on their behalf. And they, they always give me the yes. So then I will say, do, do they need kinesiology as well? Mm -hmm. And if they don't, that's fine. But I will still use the kines kinesiology technique to find, OK, where are we working in the house? Are we working in the whole house. And then I just go around and I use my body connected to their body as a muscle to muscle test. Yeah. I use a dowsier as well. So I've got the dowsing rods, which is behind me. So I've got the long dowsing rods. Yes. I use a pendulum. I, I use whatever is needed. And I always ask, is this what you need? Do you want me to use a mm -hmm. dowsing rods or do you want me to use a pendulum? Yeah. And then I just go from there. So I'm always asking the home what it needs. Fantastic. Where's the work? And how often do homes need this? Because I'm thinking um, it isn't really a one-off, is it? I mean, a big cleanse when you just move into a house, but then we're adding positive and negative energy to our houses, aren't we? Well, when I do the home, mm -hmm. um, the work that I do is a big, it's quite a lot of work. It takes quite a few days to do the work. And then we have like a four hour time slot where I go through everything and then we do some more work together. So for that family within that home, when the home gets cleansed, healed, yes. it also heals those that live there. So it's not yeah. just the home because it has a member energy has a knock-on effect so also affects those that live there so they change sometimes when i do house whispering it tests up that someone within the family or maybe all of the family will need kinesiology i ask do they need it if they don't that's fine then i just do the house so while they're living there it shouldn't come undone there are things that i ask i suggest to the clients to do i say you know, you need to smudge it every so often after you've had a visit from a friend that may be upset, smudge your house. It would be really good to smudge it on a regular basis just to keep the energies at bay. But it shouldn't need a full house whispering technique while that family is there, unless there's something seriously traumatic has happened to yeah. change the equilibrium within the home. Mm -hmm. okay oh i'm so excited by all of this <laughs> you can see why i loved it because it's it's like you know when i moved in to my home my my 
I am my husband's second wife, so he lived here with his first. So obviously there was things that needed to sort of change and you, you become your own and you just change the energies and you just do what you need to do because it has to become yours, it has to become it personal, is. you know, and it's, yeah, it's very interesting, all of this. I love it. I love what House Whispering does to a home. I love yeah. the effects it has on a person. I love kinesiology, what it does on the body. I love how it, it helps me to help them to become a better version of themselves and the rest of the family. I love it. The animals as well. Love it. And do um do houses, homes know how many people they really want to live in it and animals and things like that is that an important thing I'm just thinking a lot of the houses in London especially and, and in my mum and dad's road um have now been turned into like multiple occupancy homes because they're big old Victorian homes there's lots of rooms in it so let's turn them all into bedrooms and have kind of communal this and that um what is it what does a home feel about that well it's you have to remember that a home each home is like a person they have their own personality mm. homes won't mind some homes will well it depends what it depends how what they want to give how they want to support yeah you know, um ultimately like i said from the beginning your home wants to support you mm. it wants you to be well so when you've got lots of different personalities lots of different people in there that section becomes that person's home so these multiple occupancy homes that room will be that person's personality. Uh, yes. You know what I mean? Yes. It's not like one family's living in the whole house. Yep. It'd be, so that home, I'm, I'm just guessing here, I'm just thinking that that home will be thinking, like, okay, so this belongs to family A, that belongs to family B, that yeah. energy belongs. Yeah, but sometimes it can have a knock-on effect with the energy seeping through. Through, yeah. Through the walls. It can if it's not protected mm. oh so interesting it is and what about um any advice or kind of top tips for our audience things that they can um start implementing you've already mentioned smudging and i remember when um you cleared this house my house you sent some is it myrrh is it what was it called myrrh i think it's myrrh. yeah it's 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 a and, and these little discs which i put the myrrh yeah, the on charcoal, and it would, yeah, charcoal, charcoal, charcoal discs disc. yeah this is um the the person that taught me how to do house whispering uses this and the monks make it so it's lots of different things You've got frankincense myrrh lots of different incense that you yeah. put on top of the charcoal when it's heated and you burn it so it's really really good to do that once a month it's really really good if you can do that once a month i've also created these lovely cards of mine yes that is like the a to z tips for optimizing energy for you and your home and there's there's lots of little ideas of what you can do simple ones because i kept being asked by my clients would you please do a book or will you please do some cards because your little nuggets of information is so helpful so one that comes to mind it's quite simple candles candles change the ambience in the home it mm. it, it it brightens up the starkest corner and it just heals that healing light of the candle even a little tea light bright light it would just change the ambience it would make it look romantic it, you'd have loads it would make it look really bright but it cleanses it just makes it's you the feel physical better. fire aspect of it as well yes. though because i could say oh but i've got <clears throat> fairy lights instead yes but the actual physical flame of candlelight is yes. better than electric fairy lights yes because the, the light from the fire 
helps to heal and it helps with, as much as it can it would try and balance the energy it would just deliver that's why they have in churches the candles going because it just heals it just sends a really good positive vibe through oh, so candles good. are really good bowls of fruit are really good in the kitchen I'm up my candles right bowls of fruit yeah just because it's one it's healthy to eat it yes Two, it's great to look at and it just it's just nice it just for the eyes it it pleases it's a pleasing array to the eyes having fruit in the home and mm. eating it nuts dried um people sometimes have dried uh flowers dried flowers work better when the essential oils are put on it because obviously if you just have the dried flowers they can end up getting stagnant but to keep it alive and to keep it moving put some essential oils on it, shake it up a little bit. Or if you want to chuck a couple of slices of lemon, that will smell, make the smell in that area spread great by the front door. So when you walk mm -hmm. in, you get a little whiff, you know, so just simple things, a little bit of salt by in each corner of the room. Some people like to do, you know, and that just yeah. helps to um, cleanse that area as well. It's, just, it's not a long lasting cleanse. So it's just a quick, Thing Quick. To do. Yeah, something I have done on occasion when there's been a dip in a, a relationship or something like that, I have done a salt line yeah. around my whole property, yeah. um, around the boundary lines of the garden, everything. Um, and I have basically said, you know, no one shall pass this line without mine and my daughters and my animals for highest and best interests at heart absolutely. absolutely and it's amazing a few of them have never come back yes because it's the intent <laughs> exactly it's the intent if they it's don't the mean you any good yeah if they don't you know don't mean you well you don't really want them to come in and sometimes because when you're an empathetic person when you're a therapist it's really hard for us sometimes to really kind of go oh I don't know if they're a good person or not, but the empathetic side of you, you like, oh, I want to help, help them. Let me help I can you. see their best side. Yes. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't help. So when you do something like that, it's really, it is good. Yeah, it is good. And then just sweep it away and bury it in the soil at some point when you feel the need to do that. Mm, fabulous. And tell me, while we're on the topic of these top tips, where can we buy your cards? Because it's a wonderful idea. You could shuffle them and pick one a day, one a week. Absolutely. That's what's so focused yeah. on that. Yeah, that's what my, that's what people who bought them have done. Um, yeah, you can um email me if you would like, uh, mm -hmm. Margaret at mhlifebalance.co.uk or you can go to my um, business page on Facebook and that is um, Energy Therapies with Margaret Hunt and just send me a message through Facebook on there and that would be great. I do while we're on here have another thing that's really good um, to help people who... Um, and this was something that I did when I was diagnosed with breast cancer and I did the conventional route as well as the holistic route. I did the two together. So I think integrated for me personally works really well. Yeah. I, did, I said lots and lots of affirmations and affirmations are really good to say because what they do is it changes the energy pathway in the brain to think differently so mm. I kept saying lots of affirmations all day every day particularly when I was feeling anxious and stressed a bit low so I've created another set of cards called the affirmation for the Beautiful. wise woman mm. and there are some just really you know like um, what can Feel I free to to just pull one out for <laughs> us, okay. um, and then everybody can see an up close of of one of them. Maybe you're okay. pulling a card for the audience right now. Okay, so this is um, what it looks on one side, beautiful, and this is what it says on the other. Every cell in my body is healthy and happy. So that you can just keep That's repeating that and saying that every day. Another one. 
<laughs> that's the side on that side and this is what it says on this side oops what? i've got it going on. going on i've got it going on yes <laughs> yes and they're just ones that just make me giggle and they just made me feel it just helped and just keep repeating it over and over again over and over again you'll find that you're the tummy the anxiety that you may have felt from feeling stressed about something you'll find that when you just keep repeating it over and over and over again that you, the calmness comes back and when you're calm you're able to think clearly and when you think clearly you make the right decisions from the best place rather than from a place of anxiety and stress yeah. and uh, tell me i'd like to dive in a little bit to these card packs of yours because they're not they haven't been designed by artificial intelligence there's loads of ai stuff going on at the moment mm. you know you can you can create a deck of cards and this and that like by a couple of clicks of a button for your business yes. now this is not what no. margaret has done no. so explain to us um how these cards these affirmations these top tips came through to you um they were ch it was channeled to me that i needed to create a set of cards um the first one was a energy tips to help people in their home so um it it's they have taken months to get together to make sure it was the right word and that the energy in them was correct mm -hmm. the colors i work with a fantastic group of people who um produce the cards for me um yeah, they, it was channeled, basically. Yes. And you, like me, didn't think you could, am I right? You didn't think you could channel, no. nor did I. And it was a skill that I wanted because I, one, one of my last mentor, really, that I worked with over years, and I just was fascinated that she could channel divine guidance yes and i loved it yes. and i just wanted to do it too um and for me i went on her course um and she taught me several different ways and i was not it wasn't happening and there was one exercise that i really didn't want to do i was like oh for goodness sake not another one of these exercises. I just want to learn how to channel. And now yeah. she's asking me to pick up crystals and get messages from crystals. I think I've had about enough. Anyway, I <laughs> guess what? <laughs> that was the exercise I was yeah. absolutely amazing with. I touch crystal, messages come through immediately yeah. for me. Um, and that is the that's the the thing that like clicked everything into place and i was so resistant of it yes, yes. um uh, how about you I, well I, it's funny I mean, you just said it. my mentor i've been working with her for many many years and she told me that i could do it and i was just like what she said yes you can do this she said i've been told that you can do this this is after years of working with her and um and it just happened one morning. It was like this little voice said, get your notepad. Start, <laughs> yeah, start writing. I didn't believe anything I wrote. I messaged my mentor. I said, I think I've just channeled. I don't know if I have. So then we had him and she went, yes, yes. And that's, yeah, so it's. Also, because I'm a medium as well, I pick up messages all the time when I'm working. You know, I do close it off because I want to be open all the time. So I do pick up messages if it was open all the time as well. I believe that my mediumship has been with me since I was little. Got me into a whole heap of trouble because my mouth would open as soon as I... As <laughs> as I got and you can see someone look at these adults looking at me as a child and i'm like oh I, and i couldn't understand why i was in trouble yeah but then you've got this little eight-year-old saying something so um 
I think that things have come full circle for me. I feel that um, things that I already knew are now coming back to me that I was not acknowledging, I wasn't accepting, um, mm. that I now believe I'm not a fraud because I work from a place of love. I work from the heart. I work for the person. It's got nothing to do with me. I'm just a facilitator helping the body, the home, to be happy, to be well, and just to survive in this world that we're living in right now. And I feel very blessed that my mentor has brought this out, that's helped me. I've seen her work with so many people. She's brilliant at what she does. Um, she's very gifted. She introduced me to the marketing people who did my website, who helped me create my cards, my business yeah. cards, everything. And they sound like a very holistic and Fantastic. filled with love company, yes? Definitely. And that's what, that's what I mean, us business owners, we need to, us yes. holistic wellness business owners, yes. that's what we need to work with, yes. right? You don't have to try and explain it to them because they get it. Mm. They get the work because they've worked with my mentor for such a long time that they now like, oh, okay, we get this now. You know, they did my pictures for my website. They did my logo for my branding. They branded it for me. So it's mine. And, you yes. know, this, 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 this lady just, she just did that. That's mine. You know, this man, she yes. did that. After one conversation, I said, I need a logo. And that's what, she created you. She got me. She yeah. did. She did. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. It's fantastic. You know, I'm, and I, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say who. Am I allowed to say who? Yes, you can totally plug okay. them. Yeah. My mentor is Claire Walker, Intuitive You. Brilliant. And the marketing company I use is called Holler. And Sophie was the one that created that for me. There's a team of them. They all work together for the client. So when I when my cards got delivered to them, because they did it all for me, they knew that I wanted them to be balanced mm -hmm. and in the right place before they touched the cards. So they lovingly checked the cards. It's the whole process. Oh, it's been a process wow. of and I I love what they do. I love how Claire just loves what she does. She's an amazing woman. She used to be a policewoman. <laughs> she used to be a what? A policewoman. Oh, a policewoman. No, yeah, she's just fantastic. You've got yeah. to have a look at her website. You've got to look at her oh, website. Oh, well, maybe I can interview yeah. her too. That would be amazing. Yeah. Oh, my God, yes. And the yes. company. Yeah, that would yes. be fabulous. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> Brilliant. Brilliant. It's lovely. So we're giving we're giving all this wonderful knowledge to our audience anyway. We've just given them two amazing leads as well. Um, yes. So, if have you got any offers, uh, current offers or evergreen offers for the audience, people that are listening, people that might download the podcast in six months' time? You know, um, at the moment. I do blueprints, which is me connecting with the Akashic Records. Each person has a library of information that's born with, that's connected to their soul. So the soul knows everything about this person. So I do what we call a blueprint, where I get information and it's a 12 month PDF. So it's month by month mm -hmm. with guidance of what will help this person to enrich, empower, and enhance their life and I normally charge £333 for that but currently at the moment I'm doing it for £234. Mm. Now I don't know how long I'm going to do that for so I know that you yes. did say for like six months time it, the offer might still be the same then it might be a different price it might have gone back up to the full price but currently at the moment as we stand on the 2nd of May 2023 oh, <laughs> it's £234. So, yeah, and I had my blueprint done and I found that absolutely amazing, fantastic tool to just keep going back to, to um, help me to focus on what it is that I need to work on internally to help me feel whole, 
instead of feeling like I'm just existing. I wanted to feel connected and understand myself. So I've always found mm-hmm. that very beneficial to, and I still have my blueprint done to this day. And and if I'm looking which at your website, which I am now, when I'm looking at your website, I can see something called digital mapping. Is that oh, the blueprint? No. Or is that something that, different? Um, that was something else that was channeled down to me. It's another modality that I use to help my clients. Yeah. Um, and it's basically, I use this and it was created to help through Source and the Celestial team of beings who... Um, said to me that a lot of therapists have more than one modality and they sometimes don't know what modality to use for their clients. Yes. So I've had to create a database of all the modalities that I have had in this life, used in previous lives and the many, many lives that I've lived before. Yes. What happens is, is that I work with the therapist and then their energy system will pick all the modalities that they know for this existing life and previous lives and they will take what they need and what happens is is that that healing process helps them to be able to consolidate it maybe or to be able to find which one is needed for that client so they they're energetically picking what they need it's like they've gone to a library and said i want that book that book that book that book and they're taking what they need it then helps to work in their energy system to feel a part of them. Mm-hmm. And then they're able to help move their clients on forward. Oh my gosh, that is very interesting. But it was, yeah, it was Source that called it digital mapping. Oh, it, yes. Fabulous. I know lots of people that um, they, yes, they channel what each product or service is going to be called don't they yeah Yeah. and it's something I've I've started doing as well and I know other people which I've done as well is um you get a crystal for the offer yes yeah Margaret's (laughs) yeah uh, Margaret's nodding a crystal for the offer um and then you can literally kind of pick up that crystal and channel and then each offer and and your business has its own identity its own personality um and then it chooses its sole clients as well so it's it's very much not you the business it's you co-creating with the business with the offer and with the the divine kind of holding space for all of it yes so with the digital mapping it doesn't just deal with the modalities that they know in this life it also brings forward all the modalities that they've had in previous lives that helps bring that forward to it's very subtle yeah often i do this work on my clients they don't even feel anything necessarily happening Mm-hmm. But I, from afar, can see the change in them mm-hmm. that has subtly, it's like, oh, okay, they've been able to bring these things together to work to help their clients. So it's just not to do with modalities from this life. It's also previous lives where they may have. Fascinating. Ooh. Right. Well, if you would like to get in contact with Margaret, which you should do, um, <laughs> go to www.mhlifebalance.co.uk um, where you can dive into um, her different services. You can look at all the testimonials um, and there's lots about um, Margaret and her journey. So go over there. All the details are there. It's been an amazing um, interview. <laughs> I, I haven't I haven't stopped because normally I would do like a 10 minute um meditation or something but I was like no this is too fascinating we are skipping on the meditation and we're going to carry on talking to Margaret so thank you so much thank you stay sane with Jane
the show that helps you and your business to thrive, not just survive. Tune in each week as Jane connects with guests in the wellness, business and publishing worlds, bringing you the most up-to-date training, techniques, healing and guidance for growth, mindset and motivation.